Okay. Is everything good? Don't need this yet. But I just kind of want to see if he um, runs at all. Well, 225 is the center, and uh, 200 is the center of the stage. It's the default 550 by 400. Okay. It's going to work. Oh, arrows. And it works. Awesome. Guess I'll do the collision now. That should be easy wicked easy basically I'm just gonna say uh, if this dot X plus this dot X velocity minus this dot width over 2 is less than no yeah just less than equal less than 0 sorry then I'm hitting the left wall so this dot X equals this dot width and this dot X dot equals 0 um, try and explain this to you. Um, uh, okay. You have a velocity of negative 7. Your width is 20. So, I'm going to say your position is 15. Now, oh, I can... You are here. Next frame, you will be here if you add the x velocity. So I can check, since the x is in the center, I can just check if your x plus the velocity minus half of your width, did I write? Yeah, half of your width is less than zero, then you're on the left side. Here, you're also adding your x velocity, because think about it. If you're going left, your x velocity will be negative, and if you're going right, your x velocity will be positive. So it works out. So here, you're here one frame, here the next. You just add on your width divided by 2 on top of your x and your x velocity, and you'll know if you pass it or not. So I'll, I'll write that right now. Uh, greater than. Oh, I need to miss something. Okay. Oh, yeah. See this? This is what I was talking about. I would get, um, errors by not having default values on the player. Just because, um, I had a stage value there. Oh, see? Hits a wall. Perfect. Hits the left wall? Yeah. So like I was saying, if I don't have default values and I try to add the player to a null stage, then it gives me an error. I mean, kind of common sense. Oh, uh, top and bottom. Top and bottom is the same thing. We'll do the top first. Ah, I wrote width. It should be height. And the bottom. Oh. Greater than 400. Okay. Top works. Bottom works. Everything works. So, now what? What to do? What to do? Um, I kind of want to do enemies last, along with levels. Where is the 
preloader done. Man, I hope this thing doesn't take too much time. I don't want to have to upload a bunch of videos. I guess I'll do the bullets. I mean, why not? Okay, so I guess my idea with this is I'm going to I'm going to have uh, a gun movie clip on the player, and um, yeah, of a gun movie clip on the player, and that is going to be part of the gun class. Yeah, and I'll have a bunch of children of the gun class. Fuck. Okay, well... No, you know what? I will have... Yeah, okay. So the gun movie clip on the player will be the the gun master. The gun master class. And, um, and then the player will be able to get which type of gun is currently active and then change no okay <laughs> final thing the gun master controls itself it tells itself which frame to go to based on what gun is active and then if i want to switch guns i'll tell the gun master switch to this gun and then if i have the gun it will be able to switch and if i don't then it won't switch and nothing will change perfect okay Gun master. I don't need to attach it to anything, and I'll need to set the coordinate position of it because I'm dragging it onto the player. So I need to know the current gun. I'll make it public. Current gun. one we'll just have one type of gun right now and we'll make a pistol no we'll make a general gun class and um, this is gonna evolve as we go along so what I want well I'll do ammo later and reload later I want fire rate and type of bullet okay so So, uh, I hate that numeric stepper. Um, the current timer will just be a simple number. And every frame where I'm waiting to shoot again, I can add to can't. Uh, oh, cure. I meant to say current. Cur fire timer. So, when. When I shoot a bullet, then the curve fire timer will add one to itself every frame until it exceeds the fire rate. So that's a pretty simple way to do a delay. Um, I need a campfire. So this should work pretty smoothly.